most Apollo.io tutorials online are outdated. And if you follow them, you're gonna waste time, get low quality leads and frustrated. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the new updated 2026 full walkthrough. Everything that's changed and how you can scrape thousands of high quality leads in minutes. And by the end of this video, you're not just gonna know how to use Apollo, but how to actually get the most success from it without being overwhelmed or spending hours wasting time. So stick around to the end because I'll be explaining every step and including some hidden gems throughout. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so we're on the laptop and let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you're gonna do is head on to Google and search for Apollo and then click on one of the first few links. Now, once you click on this, what you're gonna do is sign up for a free account. You can actually see Apollo's pricing right here and I cannot wait to show you some secret tips um, on how to get some amazing leads um, that you wouldn't have seen anywhere else, but you can choose the pricing based on what you want. I would recommend going for the free plan to get familiar with it. Um, you get 100 free credits, so 100 leads essentially. Um, and I'll be showing you how to get the best 100 leads so you can maximize the free plan. And then sure, once you get an appointment, once you get some success, you can maybe upgrade to the next plan. Um, but once again, I'm not affiliated with Apollo, so it doesn't really affect me. But um, that is just what I would recommend starting with a free, getting some success, getting familiar with it, and then upgrading to the paid plan. Um, so once you have created an account and you've selected your plan, you'll be able to go onto the home page. So once you log in, it will look something like this, where you'll have the home page, you'll be able to see your metrics. I don't use the actual email um, feature inside Apollo, but I'll show you how to use that in a second. Um, you, you're just able to see your tasks, you know, other metrics, analytics, things like that. Um, but, you know, let's jump straight into the actual main thing that you probably want, which is high quality uh, verified leads and everything like that. So what you're going to do is on the left, you'll be able to see all the different tabs on Apollo. Um, and the first thing that I would recommend doing is heading onto the people tab. And what we are going to do is create an amazing list with high quality leads um, and the most high intent prospects we possibly can to maximize the credits um, that we have. So I'm gonna show you some secret tips, so keep watching. Um, but what you wanna do is not get overwhelmed because I can appreciate that the first time you see this, you're like, oh my God, there's so many different, um, you know, options, you know, tabs, um, and it's easy to get overwhelmed when, when it's actually really simple. All you want to do is essentially click on keywords. And once you click on keywords, you're just gonna search for the niche that you want to target because you could go for the industry. However, if you, were to, if you wanted to target like roofing companies, for example, you can see it does not appear or HVAC or some smaller industries, which you probably want to target. So that's why we search for keywords. And that's all you need to do. Just click on keywords and you're going to search for your niche. And if you search for roofing now, you can see you get all of these different options. Um, so it's really up to you which one you want to choose, um, but just go for your niche. And I'll be showing you secret tips in a second. So definitely keep watching, but that's just how you choose your niche and the best way to go about it. So for this example, let's just say we want real estate, um, Let's do agents, real estate agents, because obviously a lot of people um, are familiar with that. Let's just do agents and brokers. So you can see here that there are 47,000 um, real estate agents in the database on Apollo. Um, but it's really important you keep watching and follow what I share because you don't just want to message these people um, because obviously their numbers aren't verified. Um, you need to check that their numbers are their personal numbers, which I'll show you how to do. Their emails are their personal emails and verified, which I'll show you how to do. Um, obviously, there's other secret tactics I'm going to show you in a second to just get the most like success out of this database or leads. Um, but that's like the first thing. It's just searching for the uh, keywords, not the actual industry. So once you do that, um, we then essentially want to choose a job title. So this is up to you. Um, if you were to go for, let's say, like a med spa or a dentist or a chiropractor or roofing, you'd obviously want to go for the owner. And that's what I would recommend doing. And you get all these different options like the owner, director, um, obviously sales, you get a manager. I would just recommend sticking with the owner and, um, you know, another one. So yeah, you can do that if you want. Um, obviously for real estate agents, it's probably not the best way to go about it, but if you wanted to get through to the owner of a real estate uh, firm, you can do that just by doing what I did right there. Um, now the next thing you want to do is search for location. So location, I would recommend going for one that is 
near you um, just because that's going to allow you to build the most trust. Um, another valid option is going onto ChatGPT and asking for some low key underrated areas. So you're not just getting the same list that everyone else watching this tutorial is gonna get. Um, so for example, let's say you're helping uh, like home service companies, so roofers, plumbers, electricians, things like that. You can go on ChatGPT and say, give me some underrated areas for roofing companies. And maybe it will give you some areas that are windy and need like more roof repairs. You get the point. That is what I would recommend doing is going for some more low key kind of locations. Um, and stuff like that. So once you do your location, um, I'll leave this blank, but you would obviously select the one you want, like, uh, you know, United States, but then go deeper, maybe to like Ohio or whatever, you know, you want to do with that. But that's just the location tab. Um, but this is where it gets really good. And this is what you should be doing. Um, so you've kind of done the main, like core filters that I would recommend doing. So you have the keywords, you have the job title and the location. But if we wanted to go a lot better um, and get more success out of this lead list. What we want to do is first of all, make sure that the email is verified. Um, now, this doesn't mean that all the emails are verified right now as of today, um, because how it works is I think it was done in the past. So you would want to essentially get these emails through um, another email verification tool like Neverbounce or Zero Bounce or another one. Um, but that's just a quick tip is to yeah, essentially have that as email verified, um, but then also verify it with a third party tool like Neverbounce. Um, but if we're going on to the actual best t uh, tricks and tips for this video, um, you're gonna be in for a treat. So if you go here, what you can do is you can actually click on time in current job. So let's say hypothetically, if we remove this keyword and let's just go for a, let's do like a real estate, like, I don't know, investment company. Let's just do that. And you can see there's a lot more results. That's why I wanted to switch it. Um, and let's go for the job title as the owner. What we can do was if we change this to CEO, actually, let's change this to CEO. You're gonna wanna, yeah, watch this because it's, uh, it's a pretty cool trick. So you can see there are 14,000 CEOs or roofing, um, sorry, real estate um, investment firms. But what we can do is click on add filter and click on time in current job. And what this will do is allow you to actually filter for how long the CEOs have been in the role of a CEO at a real estate investment firm. Now, the reason we do this is because a lot of people who get new positions at jobs, especially at the executive level, so, you know, C-suites and beyond, you can essentially filter for those people and they're going to be under pressure to get better results and perform at their company, if that makes sense because they've just gotten into a role. So we can go here and we can click on however, uh, so you can see is less than enter value. So less than three months, so 90 days. And what we can do is find 100 people who are gonna be the most likely to invest in marketing efforts, you know, AI, whatever you're trying to offer them or pitch them, they're gonna be the most likely people to actually buy. So yes, you get less of them, but as I said, if you're on the free plan and you only get 100 credits, this is probably the best way to go because you're finding CEOs who have only been in that role for less than 90 days who are more likely to wanna buy something in whatever niche you're in to get results for the company. Hopefully that makes sense. And that is a secret filter that you can do is time in current job and reduce it to less than 90 days. Um, but if you wanna go beyond that, what you want to do then, if you are going to be calling them or sending SMS or doing something like that, you want to add another filter and you essentially want to go down here to where it says phone numbers. I think it's at the bottom so we can just go for phone status. Um, and we want to basically click on is true and we want to make sure that we are only going to direct numbers. So you see here, work direct. Now this is insanely um, important if you are targeting like local business owners. So let's say you're targeting like, as I said, home service companies, or it could be anyone to be honest, like chiropractors, any, any company that has like a gatekeeper was likely to have a receptionist. Um, you'd want to go for work direct um, and mobile. And this is statistically going to have about a five times higher um, just success rate in terms of getting through to the person you want to as a, as a decision maker than if you were to go for corporate or just leave it blank. So just by turning this to work or direct, 
you're gonna have so much more success and that is really important. So click on mobile or work direct and you're gonna have a five times better success rate when it comes to speaking to the owner or an actual decision maker at the company that you want to. So that's just a quick tip. Um, so in summary, filters, time and current job, and then also the phone number one. Um, and then when it comes to exporting this, so once you're happy with your list, you've you know selected the niche you want. And bear in mind, you don't actually use any credits until you export. I'm pretty confident that's how it works. Um, so don't worry, you can actually like scrape, also you can look and preview all of this without using any of your 100 free credits. Um, or if, obviously if you're on a more expensive plan, you get a lot more credits. I think I should be on the like 299 a month plan, which is quite a lot. So I obviously get quite a lot of credits. Um, but yeah, that is just a um, another thing you need to understand is you don't actually use credits until you export it. And when it comes to exporting it, um, all you wanna do is essentially click on this and select how many people you wanna export. So out of like, let's say the 124, let's say we wanna just export 100. Now, it's as simple as that. You click apply, it's gonna highlight some people, um, and then you get the option right here to click export. And it's really that simple. Um, I know it can look overwhelming, but I recommend just jumping in and playing around with the settings. You, as I said, you don't actually use credits until you export. So when you do export now, you should be good to go. Um, obviously the emails are verified. Um, I would, as I said, run, run them again through like another email ver ver verification tool because I've had like a high bounce rate before from Apollo emails, but just once again, make sure you click it and then save. And how it will work is once you click save, I think I need to actually update my payment plan because I think it's the exact day that I should uh, renew it. But you get the point, once you click save, it's gonna send you an email with the download link and then that is how you would download it as a CSV, especially if it's a bigger list. I think that's what it typically does. It sends me an email and then I download it, um, especially if it's over like 150 leads, but usually you would be scraping 1,000, 2,000. Um, but that is essentially how you'd use the lead generation kind of section of people in Apollo. I wouldn't really recommend doing companies because you're just getting like broader information. For some reason, if you wanted to get broader information, you can do that, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend that. I would just go for people. Um, now, lists is where you can essentially click on this. So if you click on add to list, you can just save um, a list. And the reason why you'd wanna do this is if we just click on create new list and we call this, let's do real estate firms. I didn't put a location, but it'd be real estate firms like London, for example, and you were to click update, what this will do is if you, yeah, on a plan, it would essentially allow you to get it added to this section. So you'd be able to see all your different lists. So it'd be like real estate firms here. Um, you'd have like, I don't know, let's say you wanted to target uh, real estate brokers or roofing companies or coaches, you know, uh, advertising firms, whoever you wanted to target, you can have different lists just to filter and see who you've done before. And another really quick important tip is when you do scrape again, what you can do is actually add another filter. So click on add filter and you can, um, I believe search for lists. Um, so click on lists and you wanna do is none of, and then select, for example, the real estate firms. And what this will do is just make sure that you aren't exporting the same person twice. Because let's say you do a real estate uh, firm as the keyword for the US and you do multiple different searches, you obviously don't want the same contact details on multiple lists that you export, right? So this filter just allows you to make sure that people in this list are not in another list, or sorry, people in this like um, kind of database aren't in any of your other lists. That should make sense. Um, just you're not messaging the same person twice, which you wouldn't want to do. Um, and that's just another filter you should add. So yeah, I recommend just jumping into this people section. Uh, once again, just doing a kind of search because that's the quickest way you're going to learn just based off the uh, keywords. Obviously that's like the niche, as I said, um, email status, verify that, uh, job title, play around with that, go for owner or anyone at a high kind of director level. Um, time and current job, that's a good one, phone number. Obviously that's another good one to make sure that you're going for the work direct or mobile option and then just save it as a list so you have it right here. And then that is pretty much 
what you need to know when it comes to lead generation using Apollo. Now, there are other features like the data enrichment one. So data enrichment is, let's say you have a list already or you have a CSV. What you can do is upload it to Apollo and it will basically do a background search um, I'm not too familiar with the code on how they do this, but um, I do have a SaaS myself around the, these, uh, you know, lead kind of tools. So yeah, it's not too complex, but if you were to upload a CSV, it can basically enrich that data to find people's information at that company, if that makes sense. So let's say you use like Lead Swift or another um, B2B lead generation tool, you can upload it to Apollo and you can essentially get it to try and find people at that company. And that's just done by clicking on the CSV and uploading it. So not too complex, um, or you can enrich companies, but I recommend going for people. That's why, because you want people to receive your actual offer. So yeah, that is how the data enrichment tool works. Pretty easy. Um, one thing you want to do now is you can just gravitate towards the sequences and the emails. So yeah, what you would want to do is basically add a mailbox first and foremost. Um, if you are going to plan to send emails or do calls through Apollo, you'd obviously need to connect a mailbox and you'd also need to get a phone number inside Apollo. Um, I personally use GHL and that's what people in my community use, um, but it's really up to you. If you want just one tool to do everything, you can use Apollo, but I personally would recommend GHL or Smart Lead if you're going to send emails or instantly send emails um, and to do calls via GHL, um, which is just a CRM. Um, sadly, you can't connect GHL to uh, sorry uh, Apollo, but maybe they'll add that in the future. But so essentially, if you want to create an email sequence, obviously connect your, you know, thing first. So if you have a Gmail or Outlook or other, um, I would recommend doing, yeah, a domain obviously, but that's how that kind of works. So you would just connect it pretty simply. Um, and then if we go back here to sequences, you can just click on create sequence. You can either do AI assisted, you can do templates, or you can do from scratch. I would recommend going from scratch call the sequence wherever you want, like real estate, uh, cold email. Um, you can add your business hours. So if we just do real estate, uh, let's do email, click on create, um, and you can basically, yeah, do your one quite easily by clicking on an add step. Um, and you can even do an automatic email, which I believe would just send out like automatically. So let's say you download a list, as I explained, I actually told you everything you need to do to scrape people as a list. Um, but let's say you want to just send an email to all of those people inside Apollo to make it really quick and easy. Um, you can do that right here just by writing your subject line. You can essentially add your email body um, and yeah, you can even preview it right here. So it's pretty simple. It's not too complex. You can then add a step so you can do follow ups if you want. Um, and then you can basically, yeah, you want to activate it, of course. Yeah. And once you have added your actual copy to this, you can then just add contacts and it should just add the contacts into the sequence. Um, and you'll be able to see your contacts right here once you do that. Um, and you'll be able to see how many emails you've sent. If you go back a second, so let's go yeah, back and you'll be able to see your metrics um, kind of here. So the bounced, um, obviously delivered, replied, things like that. Um, so pretty easy, but you can also see your analytics on the homepage, I think, as I explained at the very start. Um, this is um, not too sure actually, this is where you add a mailbox, I'm pretty sure. And then calls, this is where you can get a phone number. So if you wanna get a phone number, you can do that right here pretty easily. Um, there's obviously a bunch of other options you can go through um, if you wanted to do that, but it's pretty easy. You just click get a phone number, you just set a phone number, you just enter the US area code and yeah, you should be good to go. I think it is a toll free. I don't think you can obviously get A2P from this, but um, it should be good enough if you're starting out. And what else do we need to cover? Um, the final thing, obviously you can see your like meetings here, conversations, deals, um, which you can play around yeah, within your own time. I don't actually use this to be honest, um, but yeah, you can obviously connect your calendar, which I would recommend doing. And then yeah, you have deals. But the main thing, as I said, is the people section. You can obviously enrich data. That's what I would use Apollo for. Um, just be smart with the credits. You can preview it, as I said, without using credits, which is cool. I've given you a few secret tips for the actual filters as well. Um, and if you want to manage your plan, you can go here, click on manage plan, and you can see how many credits you have. So you can see that I have or should have around 35,000, which is quite a lot. I spend too much money. Um, but yeah, you obviously don't need $300 a month to, to use Apollo. You can just use the free plan to start and experiment with, and then you can upgrade to the small one or the 
share this one if you want. But I hope you found this video useful. Um, I wanted to give you some secret tips and just walk you through the platform. I think it's pretty good if you're starting out and you wanna, I don't know, offer things to business owners. I think selling B2B is probably the easiest way to make money if you are a beginner. So hopefully you enjoyed, subscribe, check out some videos up here. And if you need help getting clients, um, whether that be through outbound or inbound, feel free to hop in my community. You get a one-on-one -on -one call with me, you get free leads and um, so much more. You actually use the software that I use, which is go high level. So take it easy guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.